God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad. For a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. Matthew chapter 5 verses 10 through 12. And all nations will hate you because you are my followers. But everyone who endures to the end will be saved. Matthew chapter 10 verse 22. Remember those who are in prison as though in prison with them and those who are mistreated since you also are in the body. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 3. In Sudan's Nuba Mountains, government bombers have flown over the region targeting churches. Yet believers have courageously continued meeting for worship. Like Jesus, they step forward to engage their accusers. And like Jesus, their courage advances the gospel. Pastor Mata says, because of persecution, because of hatred, it made more Muslims open to hear and listen to the gospel. Lord, may the courage of my persecuted Christian family in Sudan hold and radiate your love. Inspire all your followers to be courageous in the face of opposition, including me. Amen. You are tuned to the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, where we stand for God's truth, not man's traditions, and we bring you straight Bible truth for these last days. The WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast is a virtual outreach ministry of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. We are outreach driven. Blessed greetings, everyone. This is Pastor Vince, and this is another edition of Prisoners of War. It is Monday, May 29th, 2023. As we've been saying all this month, our theme is following Christ in the shadow of Islamic extremism. This is our last episode for the month of May as we wrap up our theme, following Christ in the shadow of Islamic extremism. If you've been following this podcast, if you've been following this program for some time, You know that every Monday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we come together and we lift up our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world in prayer. And we also uh, profile a particular country in the world where Christians are facing many challenges as they stand for the cause of Christ. This week, we will be taking a look at the country of Central African Republic, Central African Republic. And as I always say to you, I um, want to let you know that this information that I am sharing with you today, as always, is uh, provided to us by Voice of the Martyrs, the Voice of the Martyrs. You can find them at vom.org. That's V as in Victor, O. Mary.org if you want to learn more about the voice of the martyrs. So again, this is information that they provided to us on Central African Republic. It is uh, designated as a hostile country. And here's an overview. Christians have suffered greatly from the civil war that began in 2012. They are targeted and attacked by Muslim rebels and their sympathizers who accuse them 
of assisting militias that have carried out revenge or killings against Muslims. Christians are among the most vulnerable in the country's conflict at times, being driven from their towns and villagers as attackers loot and destroy their homes and churches. In one town, 58,000 Christians who have been displaced by repeated attacks since 2011 are still living in refugee camps. And all churches within a 60 mile radius of the town have been destroyed. Rebels continue to shoot into the camp at night and those who wander outside the town to tend their farms, which is their only means of livelihood, are sometimes killed or are sometimes killed. Churches are often the only ones caring for the hundreds of thousands who have been displaced in the conflict. While the Central African Republic's civil war has presented opportunities for Christians to display Christ's love to a ravaged nation, indigenous churches need support from the larger body of Christ. What are the major religions in Central African Republic? Well, 70% of the population identifies as Christian, including 30% evangelical Christians. The remainder of the populace are, to, are predominantly Sunni Muslims, though many who name themselves either Muslim or Christian continue to practice animistic tribal beliefs. Who is the main persecutor or the persecutor in this territory? Uh, Christians who actively share their faith suffer intense violence at the hands of Muslim rebels. And what does it mean to follow Christ in the Central African Republic? Well, because of the civil war between rebel groups that publicly ident identify themselves as Muslim or Christian, some have struggled to distinguish uh, between political violence and religious persecution. However, attacks are targeting attacks targeting churches, Christian families, and pastors because of their Christian witness and other activities of biblical faith have become common. In a four-week period in 2017, five pastors were murdered by Islamist Salika rebels in targeted attacks to eliminate their witness for Christ. And that is information on the Central African Republic. So friend, as I normally do every week on this program, I uh, challenge us here in the United States to think about the freedoms that we currently have in this country. I cannot say this enough. We have freedoms in this country that many other Christians around the world do not have. I just shared this information with you about the Central African Republic, and you know, I have shared others in past episodes. So let us continue to press on and to hold dear to the freedoms that we have in this country. I also remind you that the freedoms that we now have in this country, we will not always have them according to Bible prophecy because things are starting to turn for those who profess Christ in this country for those who want to worship openly, um, you know, no matter what day, time, place, whatever, we have freedom to worship as we want to in this country. At least that's what our Constitution or the First Amendment of our Constitution states. But again, things are taking a turn. But still, we have it better than the majority of our Christian brothers and sisters around the world. Many of our Christian brothers and sisters around the world are in territories where, you know, they can't worship as we do. They can't worship openly as we do um, for fear of persecution, death, imprisonment, what have you. Um, many of these people were once Muslim. They were once Buddhist or whatever. And the Holy Spirit changed their hearts to where now they are following Christ, but they have to think about um, how this is going to impact their lives 
um, concerning their own families turning on them, the governments turning on them, whoever. They, in essence, can't trust anyone at this point. So they have to live in fear day by day as they try to um, share their faith or express their faith or live out their faith as they've been impressed to do. So friends, let us continue to keep these brothers and sisters in prayer as they continue to stand for Christ, as they continue to carry the blood-stained banner of Christ. Let us pray. Loving Father, thank you so much that we have these freedoms here in this country, in these United States. Many people have, have come before us and fought so we can have these freedoms that we have today. But we understand that we will not always have these freedoms as we do right now. Let us continue to lift up our Christian brothers and sisters around the world who do not have the freedoms that we have. Lord, continue to strengthen them, encourage them, uh, give them the, uh, the will to keep uh, pressing on for they are fighting for a worthy cause. Help them to uh, be strong and bold witnesses so that others can be drawn to you as well. Uh, thank you so much for what you have done for them. Thank you so much for what you're doing and for what you're going to do. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you once again for joining me for another edition of uh, Prisoners of War here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast. I want to let you know that next Monday we will not have a new episode of Prisoners of War. Next week we will be on break. Next week is our monthly uh, ministry Wellness Week. Our Ministry Wellness Week starts on Sunday, this coming Sunday, which will be June 4th, and it will go all week through Sabbath, June 10th. We will resume our normal uh, uh, programming on Sunday, June 11th. So again, this is our last episode for the next couple of weeks. We will not meet next week which would be June 5th, I believe. Monday, June 5th, we will not meet. We will meet the following week, which would be June 12th. June 12th, yes. So I just wanted to let you know in advance. And um, until we meet again, by God's grace, may the Lord be with you. May you have a blessed week. And as always, these episodes are recorded and you can always, uh, you know, come and listen to our past episodes of Prisoners of War, as well as our other programming here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast. Again, this is Pastor Vince, your host, signing off. And you are listening to the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, where we stand for God's truth, not man's traditions, and we bring you straight Bible truth for these last days. The WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast is a virtual outreach ministry of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. We are outreach driven. If the Lord lays it on your heart to donate a financial gift, to give us a financial gift, you can always use uh, Cash App. Our cash tag is dollar sign S L M Concord. That's S is in Sam, L is in Larry, M is in Mary Concord. You could also use PayPal. Just send it to at Pastor Vince 55. You can also use Zelle. Use the ministry's email address, sacrificial lamb ministries at gmail.com. All right, those are three different ways you can give your tax deductible donation. But in the meantime, be blessed. Take care. May the Lord be with you. And by God's grace, we'll come back together in two weeks right here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast on Monday, June 12th, 2023, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be blessed.